morning, everyone. Today is uh, Tuesday, June 8th, 2021, and it is the second day of the video lessons that we are recording towards the end of the school year. So we have another language arts activity we're going to do today uh, that's going to be us going through some grammar and making sure our assignments are grammatically correct. Again, these are uh, grammar assignments from the beginning of the year that we're reviewing and going over. So they uh, were fresh for next year. You know, we got it, we have it in our mind and we're, we're good to go. And uh, we end the year on a fresh note, okay? And as always, after you watch the video, there are some questions that come after on a sheet. The questions are very similar to the ones that we are doing in the tutorial today. So pay close attention, take good notes, and uh, that should help. You. So let's go through. I have about 10 examples here, and uh, we'll just go through. We'll fix them. I'll explain why they're being fixed, and uh, that should help you with the assignment. All right. So the first one says, go pick up the trash, please, requested dad. All right. Well, there's quite a few wrong with the sentence. First of all, the good news is it begins with a capital G, so it's correct in that sense. But we also have to remember that requested dad, all right? Somebody's talking here. What did I say happens when you are talking about somebody talking? Right, you got to put the word in quotes. So quotation marks here. Go pick up the trash, please. Comma after, please, requested dad. Again, it's somebody's name, needs to be a capital D, and you need to have a period at the end of the sentence. So go pick up the trash, please, requested dad. That is the cor grammatically correct sentence, okay? So you have in quotes, okay, a comma before the last quote there, requested dad. Okay. My dog Lulu is a German Shepherd. All right. Well, it's almost there, but not quite. My dog Lulu is a German Shepherd. Well, what do we do? Well, it's already capitalized, so it's good there. My dog Lulu. This is somebody's name. We got to capitalize the L. is a German Shepherd, capital G for German, capital S for Shepherd, because that's the name of the dog breed and a period at the end. My dog Lulu is a German Shepherd, okay? Also, I would put a comma here. My dog Lulu, oh, it's not needed. Don't need one then. Ah, uh, you need it after Lulu. My dog Lulu, comma, is a German Shepherd. You're separating the subject, okay, from the object. My dog Lulu, that's what the sentence is about. What is your dog? A German Shepherd, okay? Identify the prepositional phrase. Remember, prepositions talk about relationship or position, okay, as to where things are. Where is the fox? In his den, okay? The fox is positioned in his den. So the fox quickly ran into his den. The prepositional phrase here is into his den. All right, that's the prepositional phrase. We're talking about the position where the fox is located. All right. Identify the verb. They watched television until 10 p.m. All right, so kind of a late night for them. All right, well, uh, well what's the verb? What did they do? What's the action here in the sentence? They watched television until 10 p.m. Watched, that is gonna be the verb, okay? That's the verb, it's a past tense verb, okay? It's something they did, they watched the television. Number five. For dinner, would you like spaghetti, enchiladas, or hamburgers? Oh man, all right, well, there's a lot wrong with this sentence. Well, what's the first one? Well, you have to capitalize the F. For dinner, would you like spaghetti, enchiladas, or hamburgers? Well, it sounds like spaghetti and enchiladas are one thing, and then hamburgers are another. It doesn't make a lot of sense. For dinner, would you like 
spaghetti, comma, enchiladas, commas, or hamburgers? Question mark at the end. It's a question mark at the end because you are asking somebody a question. You're asking them what they want for dinner. Do they want spaghetti, enchiladas, or hamburgers? Make sense? All right, number six. First thing in the morning, I will take a shower, then I will eat breakfast. Oh boy, quite a bit wrong with this. Well, the good news is the beginning of the sentence is already capitalized. So we have the capital F, first thing in the morning, comma, because you are beginning to list something here. You're gonna say what you're gonna do. I, capital I, will take a shower, period. Capital T and then, comma, capital I will eat breakfast with a period at the end. Okay, again, first thing in the morning, comma, you are separating an idea here. I will take a shower, period, end of idea. Then, with a capital T and a comma, I will eat breakfast, because here you are explaining an order. First, you are saying, this is what I will do. Then, I'm going to do this. That's why it's two separate ideas. It is separating two ideas which would you do not want in the same sentence okay first thing in the morning i will take a shower then comma i will eat breakfast determine the meaning of the part of speech this grammar review is a walk in the park what does that mean if something is a walk in the park what is it it means it is easy yes if it's a walk in the park it is easy Please pack the following, a warm jacket, a sleeping bag, and a change of clothes. Sounds like somebody's going camping. All right, well, again, same thing. Please pack the following, capital P. And because we're listing things off here, we need to put a colon, all right? Please pack the following, colon, a warm jacket. We're listing things, so you need comma between things that you're listing. A warm jacket, comma, a sleeping bag, comma, and a change of clothes, period, okay? You, are, you use commas to separate ideas and items in a list, and you use a colon to almost prelude, almost uh, as if you were going to begin to introduce items in a list, which we are doing here, a warm jacket, a sleeping bag, and a change of clothes. What is your favorite thing on the menu here? Oh, boy, okay. All right, well... We are using a homonym here, and we are not using the correct your. Oh, boy. What is your favorite thing? Your should not be you are. It is Y-O-U-R, your favorite thing on the menu. Here, that's here as an out of your ear, H-E-A-R. Here should be H-E-R-E. -E. Now, let me give you a trick here. Tell the difference between the two different types of hears. All right. When you see the word here, this has H-E-A-R. Doesn't that look like the word ear? You hear with your ear. So this is hearing as in what you do with your ear. This is hearing as though it's a location, H-E-R-E. -E. You got two E's there here. It's a location, okay? Two E's in the same location in the same here. All right, the last one. Oh, this is my favorite. You are lagging. I can't hear you. Oh, boy. You are lagging. I can't hear you. Well, let's let's correct it. Y O U is you. R A R E lagging, comma. Okay, two separate ideas. Capital I can't. A period. I mean apostrophe. I can't hear you. What what kind of you should we? I mean, excuse me. What kind of here should we use? H E A R. Thank you. You are lagging. I can't hear you. All right. All right. So those are the, that's the material for the lesson for today in language arts. As we go through the grammar, there is a question sheet for you where you are going to be required to do the same thing. The questions go in the same order. They're very similar. Um, they're not quite the same. So you do need to pay attention to what they're asking. But also, too, if you have any questions, email me, send me a text on Remind. You can even play this video back a couple times uh, to help clear it up for you. Okay? So.